We're at the Lans Minnesota Landscape Arboretum and we are um, here to celebrate Earth Day and for a contest that uh, commemorates the late Paul Grucco, Minnesota writer. Many wonderful My parents gave me a journal when I was a kid to write in and I wrote every day. I think I had this this burning desire to capture every day so I would remember it because it seemed like um, otherwise life would be passing by and I, I wouldn't have a record of what I'd done. It seemed very important to write to get it all on paper, even when I was about 10 years old. To Love the World, which is the name of the contest, and it's about um, the life I live on a small lake in east central Minnesota and one winter when we were skating on the lake we discovered that there were six Canada geese that had been left behind. They had not migrated with the flock and with the waters now frozen over they were destined to spend the winter here. One of them had a broken wing and one was a barnyard animal that couldn't fly. And I, my essay is about watching them through the winter get smaller and smaller. Well I think everyone today probably took away something very special from each person and I think you know if you listen to the you know the poetry and the essays and all the different genres that people express express themselves in um, each one had a definite passionate um, feeling about the world that they live in and wanting to connect with that world from the pulse of all life from the wetland brothel, rowdy with spring, where frogs and red-winged blackbirds scream for attention, where cattails with brown busbies of Buckingham Palace guards stand stoic and tall, protecting their kingdom. It happens again and again, 70 miles and 30 years away, across my street in Lake Louise, in every wetland everywhere, whether one small girl is there, sitting in the heart of it, or one woman watches, listens from a distance.